Welcome back to another Animation Buffet Rig Review and today we're going to take a look at the David Rig which is a companion to the Dana Rig which is also reviewed on here. Link in the description of course and everywhere so you can check that out. But this is the rig here on Gumroad, $15 and a rig that I posted a long time ago just like the Dana Rig and I need to catch up with all of these and do some reviews. But let's check it out in Maya. And with most rigs as you can see textures are not there and there are many many ways where you can go and check out the textures. So you can do this through the hypershade. You can select the geometry, go to material attributes and check it out there to see what's missing. And there's also a texture relationship editor, all kinds of ways. So this is missing the David Diffuse and I can go back here, go into the David textures and it's in here, this one. And because of that, boom, it will bring back all the textures for everything. Just like with the Dana Rig, there are no layers here. So I'm going to select all of this and add that to a layer on and off. And I'm going to call this a Geom. Why not? Just the controllers. Beep. And here we are. Looks like a very, very similar, if not identical setup. So if you've watched the Dana review, you will see that this is very similar. You have your leg controls here. As you move your foot, it does move the knee, which I'm a big fan of here. And you have that controller here. And of course, you have all the classics from swivel to toe to roll. The roll angle, stretchy, anti-pop and length, just in case you need to make changes there. But of course, you have also the options through here. These controllers here, you got your middle one here for foot roll. You have the toe and you can go all the way back where you have a pivot like this from the back on top of this one that pivots from the ankle only. Same thing left and right. And then you have all your bembos to go out and reshape your rig if you want to. Up here you have your IKFK blend and will change your leg to an FK leg. You can see all the classic stuff. Let's go back down. No other options on this except for lock. And then going back here, as with the other one, you have your partial and full versions of your geometry. But on top of that, you have body mechanics, which I did not see on the Dana rig. Turn this on, it turns this gray. You can also just take the textures off and then everything is gray. If you don't want to do any facial animation, interesting add-on, I like it. Going back here, you have your hip control that is through there. I still wonder, I would probably prefer the pivot to see it through here and not on the side. That'd probably be my only comment on this. Same for, for Dana, but you have that here and then you have your movers for the spine and you can rotate, but you can also do translates. There's no volume compensation here, but you can do all of this through that. Oh, like I said here, this is the root. And you have more bembos on the side here. Now let's go up here, just like with her, you have shoulder controls, in terms of rotations, but also translates. And then you have your bembos, of course, and your FK wrist and your FK elbow. And of course you can change it through this control in the back, not this one here and it changes to the red box which will then turn into your IK arm and you have of course the pole vector here does it have you have a follow stretchy anti-pop length options there is no pivot option none of that does the pivot just in case you're wondering this is for your pop and then your length but I also like having this in form of a channel here but that's it. You have your arm controls here. And just like with the Dana Rick, you have all of your finger controls that are there for some quick blocking, including all the curling, which of course you can do manually as you select those controllers all the way back to this one as well. So this is all available there. And again, Ben bows all the way throughout the whole arm setup. Then moving up here, you have your head control. That's a translate and rotate this goes all the way down to the lower neck of course and you have your squash and stretch and you have your 
middle squash, and you have your separate head transformations for top and bottom. Again, for reshaping, you do have your controls here, which is cool. You have overall eye movers here, and then it gets into the shapes for your eyes. You can do all kinds of adjustments there. It's very detailed. And then you have your eyebrows. Changing all of it like that. Let's bring it all the way back. You have your overall nose control. You have nostril controls for flares. You have cheek controls here. And you have overall mouth position. This is your chin mover and you have your jaw and with that you can show all of these controllers to do all kinds of stuff it's very detailed i love this speaking of eyes let me just bring all the shapes back just in case here you have your eye control just like with dana doesn't do anything you have to do aim and once you have aim you have that option and you have separate eye controls which are important for specific poses of course you don't want to just move the eye control and you also have the option that if you move the rig over, you can see how the eyes are staying put, but you can also do follow off. And then let's bring the aim back. You can see how it looks at that icon, but if you move the rig, it stays put there. Always a fan of that. And speaking of facial stuff, you can go back in here. Let me just go back and change all of this. Now you have eyebrows through there. That's of course left and right. Then you have eyes and you can see the deformation in the skin, which is cool. I love that. You also have here on the side blink. If you want to do a quick move, blink center, upper lids, upper lower lids, eye driven. You have all kinds of options, including iris and pupil. Same thing for the Dana rig. You also have eyebrow squeeze in here. And then you have your cheek controls. You have your nostril controls. Then you have quick mouth shapes. You also have upper roll, lower roll. You can see what it does here. And then the zips, this is for the corners of the mouth. And then down here, we have corners here, which also has a quick smile option there. So you can do some very, very quick blocking using that, this guy here. And you can see all the visibility limits, controls, all this is on. And you can move this around if you want to and maybe constrain that to a face cam if you want. Lots of options here. There you have it. All the controls are there. There you go. Very appealing rig. Lots of controls and lots of great examples online of what this rig can do. So check it out. Link in the description with all the information for my animation buffet link. And of course, Gumroad as well. It's $15. Absolutely reasonable. So go and check it out.